What up guys, it's Nick, back in here with another video. And today I got another coffee table. You know, these these things been coming in hot and heavy, so you know, I got a few of them that I'm about to pump out. Uh, and today I got a Naruto one, you know, this barnyard mode. Now, to be honest, I, I haven't watched Boruto. I've just kind of skimmed through it and watched the, the fights in it. You know, Momoshiki and uh, uh, whatever the other dude name is. Dude with the, the, the dude he used is barnyard mode. Though. I can't remember his name. But I kind of just been skimming through it. It's just it's just not as interesting as um as regular Naruto was to, to me in my opinion. So you know you know people gonna say what they want to say, but to me honestly it's just not. But um you know I had a guy he wanted this um you know so you know business you gotta take care of business. So I mean I actually had fun with it because the barnyard design is really cool to me. I really like the design of it. It's just um you know it's kind of it was kind of simple to make. It was just it was I did this really fast. You know, so, um, but you know, y'all already know my process by now. It's fairly simple. You know, you just, I just project it onto, you can hand draw it onto the wood, but I just use a projector to be fast, to be faster. You know what I'm saying? Cause at this point I already know I can draw it. It's no point of me. I don't have to prove to nobody that I can draw it. So, you know, um, yeah, but if you're interested in doing it, same old, same old, get, you know, get you projected to be easy. It'll save you a whole lot of time. If you uh, if you actually get like a lot of people that want you to do it and the in the like cuts customer base is there, yeah, go do that because the customer base is there. You can get you a, pro a projector for maybe 150 hundred dollars. I think mine costs like two hundred dollars. So you know, just get you one of those. It'll, it'll make your life a whole lot easier. I promise it will. And get you a little a little tripod stand up. Just set it up, and then you can just plug it directly into your computer, into your phone, or whatever, and it can just project whatever it is out, and you can you can go that fast. But, um, you know, uh, but the purpose of me doing this, uh, like some, I do turn down some, some, some orders that I get though, because I have a hard time. This is me personally giving some business advice. Like I know it's bad for business, but sometimes I personally have a hard time doing characters that I'm not personally interested in. So like, I've never seen one piece, for example, like I know about it. I heard about the show. I got a huge following, huge fan base, but I'm just not a one piece guy. So if somebody asked me to do a one piece shoe or a one piece table, I don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm good. I don't want to do all that. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, my thing is try to take orders of stuff that you're interested in because that way you'll be more, you'll be more likely to do your best at it. You know what I'm saying? Now, granted, you know, if you need the money, you do what you got to do. But like try to just try on a balance of probabilities try to take orders for stuff that you actually have an interest in so you can be like hmm i never thought to do that like because right now uh i have a i have a gohan and sale order uh a shoot that i have to do i have a gohan versus sale shoot and gohan was my favorite character in um uh, in uh, uh dragon ball uh dragon ball dragon ball z or whatever it was dragon ball z that's what it was gohan was my favorite character in there so it was easier for me to um uh, do that shoot because I, I love Gohan. I love the whole hidden potential theme of it. So it was easy for me to go into it doing that. I would strongly recommend you take orders that you care about. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, cause it's gonna make it a lot easier in the end. You know, cause if you do something, like I said, if I take a one piece order, I'm gonna drag it out. I'm gonna push it to the back burner. And then let's say I, I'm, I'm working on that one, but then, uh, then a, uh, a Naruto piece come in. I'm gonna be like, well, I, I would prefer to work on the Naruto one. So let me go ahead and do that while I care about it. You know, I know you shouldn't be doing business based on how you feel, but like I got a four to six week turnaround anyway. So within them four to six weeks, you might get pushed back because you know what I'm saying? I'm more interested in another shoe, you know, than yours. So I'm, I'm just saying to, to avoid all that, I'm just, you know, for anybody who sees this, like it happens. So, you know what I'm saying? I just want you to know, like, hey, if you're going to do this, that might be a problem you run into. So try to take stuff that you that you have genuine interest in. So that way you can put your best foot forward every time and you don't give you don't give half effort on something just because you're not. You know, what I'm saying you're not all the way interested in that uh, show or theme or whatever. But I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys like the, the table, the way it came out. I'm pretty uh, satisfied with the way it came out. I'm pretty sure you're going to love it. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, like, comment, comment, and subscribe. I really like how my following been growing on here. So just uh, you know, keep supporting me. Share it. Do whatever. You know, I appreciate any support you give. Uh, holla back.